great great children great if you're happy 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 say i'm great i am great if you're happy 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 say hello hello if you're happy 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 smile for me where you are if you're happy 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 say i'm happy i'm happy now welcome to today's class today in our numeracy class we're we'll learning about measurements have you heard the word measurement before have you measured something before uh i'm sure you have seen something being measured so today in our class we'll be talking about measuring something what do we use to measure with why do we measure why do i have to measure something have you ever thought about it okay i'm going to tell you then in our subsequent class we will be using some of the things we have learned today we'll apply it to measure something maybe we'll make a pancake or donut or a cake or something so let's go to our class let's not get distracted okay as you can see on my screen um i can measure length when you're measuring the length of something you're trying to find out how long or how short that thing is now, to measure the length of anything, you use a ruler or a tape rule, like this one. This is a tape rule. It's a tape rule. It has inches and it has centimeters that we use to measure. I'm sure some of you have seen it. Sometimes when you visit a tailor to sew or to make a new dress for you, um, the tailor uses this to measure some parts of your body to see how the dress will fit in. So if I want to know how long something is, I will use a tape rule or I will use a ruler. Is that okay? Now, we measure length to know how long or how short. So if I ask you, um, why do we measure length? You tell me we measure length to know how long or how short something is. Is that taken? Now, we measure height. Height. To know how tall a person or object is standing. Now, if I want to know how tall your fridge is, I am measuring the height. If I want to know how long your, your TV is, it's measuring length. Huh? Is that okay? Now, um, to measure the height of something, we use a ruler too. Um, okay, I'm, I want to, I'm trying to show you. Now, to measure the height of a person, we use um, like this. It's called a height chart. Huh? It's called a height chart. Sometimes in school, we use, we check your height, we check how tall you have grown. We use a height chart. That's what we use to measure the height of someone, a person, not an object. Don't use height chart to measure the height of an object, but we use height chart to measure the height of a person. Is that okay? But if it is the height of an object, we use a ruler or a tape rule. Just like the length, you can use a ruler or a tape rule to do that. Is that taking? Do you understand? Okay, let's check other things we can use to measure with. Now, you can use a ruler, a ruler to measure the height of an object or a tape rule. A ruler or a tape rule to measure length and height. Is that okay? Now, to measure capacity. Capacity talks about how much a container can hold. Now, you can see a jug, there's lemon inside, lemonade, a bucket, and a cup. Now, these three things can be used differently to measure. If I want a jug of water, you don't get it inside a bucket. A bucket will not give you the quantity that the jug will, and the jug will not give you the quantity that the cup will, so let, let me show you some things you can use to measure how much a container can hold, what we can use to measure. 
apart from the jug, the uh, cup, and the bucket. Mm? Let's see. Now, this is a measuring cup and measuring spoon. They are graduated. What I mean by graduated is that they have numbers on it. There's one teaspoon. There's half teaspoon. You know, the spoon that they use for stirring tea is called a teaspoon. And that big one that we use to eat with is called um, a tablespoon. Two different kind of spoon. The teaspoon, you use it to for tea. And the big one. It's called a tablespoon. And then these cups are measuring cups. You use it. You say, oh, um, can you measure one cup of rice? That's one cup. And there's half cup. And there's quarter cup. And then there's um, uh, a smaller cup too. So different kind of cups for measuring. Now, um, for measuring of weight. Weight tells you how heavy something is. Weight tell you how heavy something is now this is a kitchen skill it is used for measuring food items you can use it to measure your fruits your vegetables when i'm baking i use a kitchen skill to measure the quantity of flour or sugar or eggs yes you can use it to measure that too but it's a kitchen skill use it to measure food not a person now this one you're used to eat you have seen it in school you um, stand on it for me to know how heavy you are. Now, I'm sure some of you have this maybe in your bathroom. Sometimes your mommy um, stands on it to see how heavy she has become. Or when you go to the hospital too, sometimes the doctor or nurses will ask you, oh, come, let me take your weight. They want to know how heavy. So to check weight, we use the skill. To check weight, we use the skill. It tells us how heavy something is. Now, remember I said, when you measure, you want to know how high, that's height, and then how long or short, that's length, how much something can carry, that's capacity, how heavy something can be, you use the skill, the measuring skill, the body skill, this is a body skill, and this is a kitchen skill. Body skill is used to measure how heavy a person is. And the kitchen skill is used to measure food items to know how heavy a particular type of food is. Is that thinking? And then you have your measuring cup and your measuring spoon. And then you have your ruler to measure height or to measure length. Huh? And then you have the tape rule. You use it too for measuring height and length. Huh? And I said length is how long or how short something is, an object is. And height is how tall a person or object is standing. And capacity is how much a container can hold. Now, this is what I want you to do for me. I want you to ask your mom or your dad to take your height. I want to know how tall you have grown and to take your weight and tell me how heavy you are is that okay i want to know how tall you have grown and how heavy you are and then you just write it down for me and then i'll see it i'll post this work for you in your classwork you just click it and do it is that taken so enjoy the rest of your day and make sure you do it bye